this effect basically separates you from from your background and it allows you to add in stuff behind you it's not perfect but it's pretty nifty it's pretty nifty you can get creative with it you can use it just to make like your, your background look a bit a bit more blurry or, or a lot more blurry if you're mm, um but yeah we're basically doing this by bringing in our camera pulling a virtual green screen pulling out the background slapping them back on top of each other and then that's the effect a master at work for this effect to work, you will need an NVIDIA RTX card. I'll pin a comment if there's a way to do it without in the future. But for now, there's a couple of things you need to download. The first being the StreamFX plugin. This essentially lets you do a virtual green screen. And the second is the NVIDIA video effects, which is basically the AI that helps the plugin work. They're both like just EXE installers. So you just run them and then, it, then it's all grand. So you, you, you're dandy, you're dandy once you've done that. First, what we need to do is make a new scene. In here, we're putting our camera source. All right, this is where we add any sort of color correction that you want to do to your camera or any, any color tweaking. Um, to do this, we're not going to be adding filters directly to the input, but instead we're adding it to the scene. So click your scene, camera input, filters. I'm a very lazy guy. I'm just gonna add a LUT. Uh, <laughs> if you don't know what a LUT is, it's basically a file that tells some colors to go to other colors. So it's it's quick and easy for color grading. Here's one I prepared earlier. Let's dial that down a bit, shall we? That's looking all right. The reason why we apply the filters to the scene rather than the source is because OBS is a bit buggy at times. And sometimes you end up having to delete a, a thing to make it work and then you have to re-add re it. And this basically saves you the effort of having to re-color re grade basically. If, if you have to add or delete, or if you change cameras, or if you change cameras, it's just, it's just quicker. <laughs> right, now we're gonna be adding two new scenes, camera keyed, camera background. Now in both of these, we're gonna add in the previous scene, camera input. So now camera background has camera input and camera keyed also has camera input. So on your camera keyed scene, we're gonna add a new filter for virtual green screen. Okay, and now you can see we're already keyed out, which is pretty good. It, I mean, it's a little bit buggy, but hey, it's, it's you don't have a green screen. It's, it's pretty good for not having a green screen. So cool, that's all done. You can close that. And now on your camera background scene, again, you can add some filters to the scene itself um, to, to tweak how you want the background to look. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a very subtle blur, a very subtle blur. I would like to use a dual filtering blur and just whack it down to like one. And it's a, just a very subtle blur effect for the background. Maybe we'll put it up to two. All right, so this is gonna be the background. It's gonna be the foreground. Last scene we're making here is camera layered. And this is just bringing everything in and putting it back on top of each other. So in here, we're adding our two scenes, camera keyed, and then also adding in our other scene, camera background. And make sure to bring that background below everything. That's pretty good. Look, just looks like a normal camera, right? But this is this is where you can you can get creative with it and add in add in stuff. So I could just just add in add in this stuff. The literal you got you got things that go behind your head. The way I've used this is I've got little visual elements of sort of react to audio um, and I put those behind me in the scene. Yeah. And then I've also got another setup for, for like gameplay scenes where I make my background semi-transparent. So it sort of fades the camera sort of into the game a bit and makes it feels a bit more dynamic. Uh, anyway, yeah, that's that's the thing. I've got a playlist of other stream related stuff. If you're interested.